Hello and welcome to another episode here at Big Man in the Woods. Now, I'm really excited about this one. We've been trying to do it for a, a few weeks and technical issues, and, and we'll talk about that in a few seconds. Um, but you might have been seeing it blatted around the internet, particularly on the Scouts website. Scouts, the musical. Now, when I saw this, I thought, is this like a first April Fool's joke or something? Because like Scouts in the school? No. So I did a bit of research and I found the man behind it. Sam. Hello. Yeah, so I'm Sam Cochran. I'm the AD um, of Giggle Mug Theatre. We basically, we work with different organisations to create family-friendly comedy musicals about them. Um, and we've done it a couple of times before. We've done it with uh, Timpson, the shop. Um, and we've we've created kind of like a Romeo and Juliet-esque origin story about the Montesquieu's and the Keepulets and how those two occupations became under one roof with Timpson. And uh, yeah, next, very soon... Um, or actually when this goes out, it will be, um, we've already done it, but uh, we've got our final shows of Runesicle, which is uh, based on the game RuneScape. And we've been working with the guys at Jagex a little bit on that. So yeah, it's it's, it's, it's a nice little um, uh, formula and that sort of thing. We learn so much about each of the organizations and it's better, Scouts has just been an absolute dream to work with. So it's, it's great to be able to bring the show to life. Was you a scout yourself then? So I wasn't, but um, David, who I write the show with, David, all the music, uh, he was. So it's been quite a nice process of, you know, David has been able to give a bit of insider knowledge. Um, I've been able to kind of stay on the on the outside slightly with, um, you know, the perspective of a theatre goer um, who might not know anything about the Scouts and and kind of, yeah, and, and strike a balance, I think, between the two, because I think people have ideas or um, expectations of what the Scouts might be like. Um, so it's a balance of really, you know, definitely hitting some of those, but also showing some sides of the scouts, which, you know, they might not be familiar with, which you, which you guys are. So it's, yeah. it's been a fun process. Is it a musical where you just kind of, I don't know, you know, like West End musicals where they're a bit of a song and then a bit of speech and song or how does it work? Is it like stereotypical? Are you, are you a Mickey taking out of scouts and those stereotypes? No, not at all. No. So we've been working really hard for, I mean, since 20. 19 now i think so it's been a, a while coming um we've been working with the scouts with the kind of brand ambassador um and all, all sorts of people who who work and have been working with the scouts for ages and work really hard on the organization um to get it exactly you know like a the best representation it could be of the scouts um you know the best possible um sort of presentation of them and because that's what we want to do we want to be able to show people, young people, or even, you know, adults who are keen to get involved in some capacity, what the Scouts are about, while simultaneously trying to put a bit of a spin on it and maybe give sh people the show that they're not necessarily expecting, but um, will enjoy for that reason. Um, and it's a it's an actor musician show as well. So there's a cast of six um, really talented actor musicians who will play multiple instruments. Um, and, and yeah, that's how we'll do it. It will be, you know, you you traditional kind of um musical but there's a little bit of audience participation um we we just love to kind of we want to make make the uh, audience goers um kind of feel like they are are part of the experience part of the really like getting involved on the scout scouting adventure i guess all right sam i've got a little idea should we just play a little snippet from skills for life absolutely go for it wicked one person can do a lot when they're on their own But being a part of the pack means they'll do a lot more Here's a promise we can keep when the mountain's looking steep Yes, be brave, but don't pretend when you need help, wait and ask a friend To climb to the top and to pull you up to These are your skills for life A scout will always do what's right That is the promise of the scout law Remember a scout is prepared for adventure No matter the scout and no matter the Remember the scouts as you go Remember the scouts as you go Remember the scouts as you go So 
I think that kind of briefly shows us a little bit. We've got a bit of uniform. We've got some badges going on in there. Now, I know Gilwell Park are a bit particular about the brand of scouting and stuff. How did that go? <laughs> so, right? I'm sure someone phoned up and said, we've got Scouts Musical, and they were like, no, 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 we're not having any of this. Or were they open to it? Totally open. It was such a, you know, surprisingly, so such a, a kind of, um, easy process initially but we've been really like refining this show over the past few years and that sort of thing like it, it, it's taken a little while to get it to this point and um you know and we were kind of given the guidelines and that sort of thing of what um you know what what scouting should be to be a, uh the best kind of representation of it um but since that i mean like you know they everyone's been so supportive and so invested and um you know really involved in every aspect of it and it was a case of you know um discussing with like the the branding and the merchandising and you know being able to use the uniforms and um hopefully being able to make some merchandise of our own via well like the scouts kind of making them for us um to potentially sell um and and that sort of thing as well so it's been a really it's been such a wonderful um collaborative process and also there's that is it's been so helpful because the scouts have been able to kind of shout about it on so socials as well, which is just um, because obviously, yeah. you know, um, really it's, it's the scouts who are, we're trying to get along to this show. And that's why we're doing a, um, a ticket discount as well for scout leaders um, with groups who, you know, we're giving like a five pound off and that sort of thing. Um, uh, if, if, if they want to come and uh, yeah, that that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to simultaneously kind of, you know, present a show for scouts to enjoy, uh, but also people who aren't involved in the scouts who hopefully might want to be afterwards. Um, but it's been a really brilliant process. And yeah, using being the scouts being able to shout about it has really helped, you know, ticket sales. And a reason as well, we're planning on um, extending the show by a week uh, until the 9th of July, which is really exciting and something that we've never done before. We've never been able to um, have a, an extension for a show, especially one in London at somewhere like the other palaces is, is a dream. Yeah. So diving into those few things that I got a bit excited about there. Every scout leader, you probably won't know this sound, but every scout leader loves a good badge. All right. We've got a camp mm. blanket. Do you know about the camp blankets? I don't think I do. No. Is that where, where you put your badges? Yeah. 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 And then you take it to camp and it keeps you warm or maybe sit around the campfire and that keeps you warm. And it's about, those badges create memories and things like that as well. So it's not like an activity badge. You hinted on a bit of merchandise there. Mm -hmm. Are you saying there's going to be a Scouts the Musical badge? I think that is the plan. Hopefully it will happen. I don't know whether it will come to fruition, but that is certainly what everyone wants to happen. Yeah, which would be amazing. It would be really cool. Like, like in that one. We love a good badge. <laughs> uh, Promo-wise, you were talking about um, getting Scouts and Scout groups along to that. Uh, to the shows and, and giving a, a some discount on how does a scout group go ahead and book those tickets and and sneakily get that promo code yeah well i mean if the the you know scout leader leaders um in question just contact the other palace and say you know i've got this group um we'd love to um get the discount on tickets and it, it's as, as straightforward as that as calling up the box office um and going from there yeah which is which is great and we've already i mean thanks to the scouts to be honest we've re already sold out some shows um which is really exciting time the saturday and sunday afternoon the matter yeah i was about to book one for <laughs> scouts. That's something. it makes sense um, you gave me a tip off that they were selling out and then when i went to go and buy them like, all right well that's, that's <laughs> yeah cool. well, we did um and yeah and the other ones are going quite quickly um and and that's why it's nice to be able to add on a week and sub subsequently a couple more matinees as well um yeah. but it's quite an early-ish show for you know for for london for the evening i think it starts at seven um and it's around an hour and a half so yeah that's uh that's how it goes is there any any um s'mores or marshmallows in the matinee <laughs> i wish i wish there was i wish we were allowed to do that i'm sure there's some rules about giving food to audience members and that sort of thing um but i love the idea i definitely love the idea and also that that idea of kind of we're keen to as best we can take the audience um obviously we're inside in a theater venue but we'd love to kind of transport them nonetheless and and maybe kind of make it feel like it's a real outdoorsy event as yeah. well nice all right so campfire songs any campfire songs going to be in the show uh well we've certainly got that as kind of like a running 
motif, I think. There's a lot of um, references to campfires. And I think the the, the musical side of things, uh, David, who, who composed the show, he, he kind of went for what he calls um, campfire pop as the the sort of genre, which I think he's made up, um, but it, it's very much infuses a lot of that campfire vibe uh, with like the catchy modern musical theater style as well. We're, we're certainly hitting on that a bit as well, yeah. Uh, so it's, it's nothing like a gang show. I was reading on online about people saying, oh, it's just another gang show. Um, it clearly sounds like it's not another gang show, is it? It's not, no. And I, I actually went to my first gang show with, um, I was invited to the St. Albans one, which was amazing. I'd never been before and it, I can't believe I'd be missing out on these. They're so brilliant. They're so wonderful. And it's kind of like this variety acts and I couldn't, just the, the, the work that had been put into it. I mean, and, and given that all these young people who, you know, haven't necessarily been able to do a lot of training or haven't had that much experience, I was totally blown away by the standard of it. It was amazing, but that's very much like a, variety showcase kind of thing there's something in it for everyone which is brilliant whereas this is a sort of um there's very much a storyline there's a structure like a typical um musical and um yeah and and it will be its very own kind of yeah experience i think is this like super cool because like gang shows you know well known maybe doing in a scout hall if you're lucky enough you might have a a church or even better a local theater but you guys are straight in the west end (laughs) <laughs> yeah i mean it's been a, a little while coming it, it's been the other palace are so supportive and we actually did our first ever show we did timpson uh one night there before we went to edinburgh before we knew whether anyone would want to come watch it um and and it was it was wonderful so it's so great this is our kind of fifth year as a theater company so it's so great to be coming back to the theater where it all began and it's such a wonderful space as well it's such a cool kind of cabaret um bar theater which really encourages um audiences to feel involved and part of it it's a really interesting space and i think it just suits the the show really well when we were planning you know where should we take this it was yeah just number one end nice yeah for sure is it going to go around around tour people have been saying oh it's in london do you think it'll go around the uk i'd love to take it elsewhere i'd love to find a home for it um further north for sure because yeah like you say not everyone is uh, can get to London easily, um, and especially with the scouts, they're literally everywhere, um, which is such a lovely thing. Uh, we'd love to take it take it north for sure, and also, I mean, there's a, bit, a lot of talk about we'd love to do it outside as well because we really feel like that could um, bring another level to it equally. Um, and then, yeah, who knows? Yes, yeah, actual, but we've got to be very careful if we're using actual fires. But yeah, that's sort of idea for sure. And and I, I know obviously the scouting community is global as well. So it's sort of a case of we're just going to see how well, you know, how, how the show is received, um, whether that demand, whether people want to see it elsewhere. Um, that's sort of what we're waiting on before being able to make any decisions. We're kind of really, um, yeah, gunning for this show and then and then seeing uh, what, what it's like. Uh, Sam, I think we should have another little snippet of one of your musical songs. A scout will climb the highest heights to help their friends, that is the scout law. The scout law. Remember that promise you made when it's dark and you're feeling of a friend. Remember a scout will always act with honor. Yes. They'll smile and they'll whistle even if they are a goner. What? Remember this oath as you go into the world. No matter the scouts and no matter the venture Remember the scouts as you Remember go. the scouts as you Remember go. the scouts as you Remember go. the scouts as you go. Remember the scouts as you go Into the wild Sam, I have one issue about this video. Do you know what's wrong with this song? It's amazing. Like, oh. from <laughs> this and the music was amazing, but there was one thing that I was like, ah! Mm. Is it to do with... No, you tell me. I'm not sure. I'm worried. 
Yes. Were they too low? No, it fell off. Very, ah, yes. Very, very professional. He carried on dancing and it was great. Oh, I think that was in, in Into the World. Yeah, I remember that because um, we had we had three takes to do it in. And because uh, we, we, it was part of uh, Beam Festival, which is this big uh, musical theatre festival in the UK, the biggest. And um, they've just announced uh, they're you know, doing another festival this year, which is really exciting for them uh, because lots of brilliant shows go on to do great things afterwards. Operation Mince Me, it's currently in the West West End and it's, it's fantastic. Um, and so we had very a very short kind of time slot to get this right and get everything in. And um, yeah, I, I know, I remember Michael was really annoyed with himself after the third take, because that was the one as well. That was the one we were like, yeah, got it spot on. And I could tell he was really annoyed. And Michael now is in the lead in Newsies um, in the West End as well. So he's really shot, shot off um, and, and done some incredible things. Um, but yeah, it, it was, I know he was gutted about that because it was just, I think it was gradually coming down <laughs> the, yeah, and that's it. And that's over those three takes. And, uh, that's one that we're gonna, gotta make sure for when we do the full show, everyone knows how to put on their neckerchiefs, their woggles, their uniform in general, how it should be worn. We'll, we'll get it right for sure. A few tips for you, Sam. Mm, please. Necker, necker. All right. This is called a necker, not a neckerchief. I'm, I'm get, yeah. teaching you the lingo, yeah? So No, yeah. that's really useful. I've heard people say Necker, and Necker. I, I thought it might just be like a, a nickname for it. I don't know if I'm allowed to say it yet, as I'm not. No, 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 you can call this a Necker. Some people call it scarf, but Necker, everyone calls it Necker. So to keep the woggle, you could do a friendship knot. It's a, it's a well-known knot that goes over that will keep us secure. And mm -hmm. I've also got a vlog where I, I put a, an elastic band secretly behind it, and it keeps the woggle all nice and... Oh, wow. And that nice and that's that's what we need. That's clever. That's some insider knowledge that we've been after for sure. <laughs> I'm giving you all the tips. I'm giving you all the tips. Yeah, appreciate it. Um, so it's all about scout leaders and young people. Are we? Are you telling us to wear our uniforms there, or can we just go whatever? It's entirely up to you. We know some people will be in their uniforms. It, it's it, whatever you feel most comfortable doing. Um, it will be really lovely seeing people in their uniforms um, and, and knowing that you know where they're from um, and. And, you know, that would be that would be great. I think that would be really encouraging for all of the performers on stage, too. But, you know, not a necessity at all. Um, and and yeah, like we said earlier, hopefully there'll be a badge that you can add on to it somewhere as well. Um, but yeah. Yeah. So, Sam, I don't know if I told you this, but I was at Gilwell Park a few days ago. Uh, I was talking to Matt Hyde, so the big boss of Scouts. And we, we were talking about Scouts the Musical. And he gave me a tip that Bear Grylls caught. This, this is no... No word of a lie. A Bear Grylls was, was chatting to him. And what were they talking about? Scouts the musical. That was the whole <laughs> conversation for nearly one hour was how are we going to get there? So my question mm -hmm. is, is Bear going to be involved in the show? Uh, <laughs> well, I, I certainly don't think he's going to be involved actively. Um, we would love we would love it if he was able to, to see the show at some point. Um, I do know he's coming. I do know. Well, I cannot, I cannot say anything, but I cannot confirm nor deny. <laughs> um, but it would be brilliant to have him there. And, and um, same with Matt as well. They, I mean, yeah, I only met Matt recently at that gang show and, and he was, yeah, cracking, so supportive. Um, every, everyone has been. Um, so it would be, yeah, it would be amazing if they can. And it's very much a, um, I haven't mentioned yet, but the, the show is, is kind of set around a fictional event, right? The Scout Games. Um, and we think it could be, I don't know. I really, I, we wanted to do something a little bit different. We didn't want to go with anything that maybe was existing already to kind of take a lot of what the Scouts is and and make our own thing with it as well that really speaks to all the Scouts whilst being kind of fresh and new. And yeah, we hope we hope that um, people like Matt, um, people like Bear, if he might maybe be there, not confirming, not denying, not saying anything, um, enjoy the show um, for that reason as well. And yourself as well. Um, you know, we really want to do right by you guys and and make something that is, yeah, is special for everyone for sure. Sounds good. So audience participation, What are, are you allowed to say anything or is it a bit of top secret? Is there any particular hotspots that we should be <laughs> sitting in the theatre? But There's you... no uh, no hotspots as such. I mean, we we very much we we do quite a lot of um, audience participation -y things in our shows. I personally, I I'm always, despite being a performer myself, although I won't be performing in this, I always I hate um, people potentially picking on me. I will always I will always do this and put my hand up and that sort of thing. I totally understand that. So we always we make it. We think it's such a nice thing to um, 
to kind of get rid of that divide between audience and cast on stage um, because there's not a lot of musicals that do that really especially comedy shows I think what we're trying to do is maybe a little bit different because uh, typically with comedy musicals with any musical if there's a punchline or a gag it is always kind of hit the same every night and um, we love this idea of I'm from an improv background um, the company was sort of stem stemmed from improv and improv musical as well um, so we love that kind of audience feedback interaction if someone laughs in a particular way we might like share that moment we love that things are different um every night so uh yes but it, it, it i think we'd love for if there are any scout leaders any teachers in the audience i always think they're perfect for audience participation um because that's what you know the young people they're with want to see i remember loving that sort of thing at school whenever my teacher would get up on stage um and uh yeah so that's that's what we're going for but no pressure whatsoever no one has to get involved with anything we don't want anyone to to, to feel uncomfortable or anything yeah, like yeah. That. nice uh so sam where can scout leaders or anyone who's interested in getting some tickets for scouts the musical where can they go where do they get them from yeah so just head to the other palace website um if you type in scouts the musical you'll be able to see at the other palace um and just go from there they've got all the dates um and times and uh, yeah, and if you just call up box office, um, if you're a scout leader looking for tickets for your groups at a discount, that's the the way to do it. Um, you can find out about our other shows and a bit more about scouts as well on our website. We're gigglemugcomedy.com. And um, and of course, there's that blog post as well, which is so lovely on the scouts page. A, a lovely picture of you as well. <laughs> yes, which I wasn't um, expecting to be so big and so out there. But I'm, I'm, I'm very <laughs> yeah flattered nonetheless, for sure. So that's the way to do it. Oh, and you can follow our socials as well on um, at the Giggle Mug on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. We'll be doing a lot more um, posting and sharing the news about Scouts and what the cast finalised, announcing that. And so it'll be a fun one to follow along the way. And those those dates once again, Sam? Yes. So now I've got to get it right. It's the 20th of June um, and we're extending to the 9th of July. And you did tell me I am the first person to know about this extension, only no one else knows. I mean, you are you are actually the first person to know. We're talking about it before it's been announced anywhere. Um, depending on when you release this video, you might well be the first person to, to announce it publicly before the other palace even do. So there you go, Sam. I've got uh, two more questions for you. Yeah, yeah. I always ask these to my guests here at Big Man Awards. If you could sit with anyone around the campfire for an hour, dead or alive, but in your case, let's say you know, dangling over the stage at the front, legs over, just chilling out for one hour. Who, who would you pick dead or alive? It's a great, it's a really good question. Um, I'm trying to think of the people that have really inspired me as a writer. I think from the musical perspective, I mean, Lin-Manuel Miranda is everyone. I mean, he's the, the you know, the hottest thing right now. Um, I would love to have a conversation with him one day. Um, how many should I be giving by the way? I, I just, I just realized I don't want it to be a, Okay. Uh, oh, I mean, I also I write for TV outside of my theatre stuff. Um, I love Phoebe Waller-Bridge, Donald Glover. They're two people that I want to just pick the brains of. I think they're fantastic. Um, so for me, that would be a brilliant one. Oh, and Bo Burnham as well, comedian. He inspired a lot of my comedy interests and stuff. So if that was whenever people say, you know, dinner table, that sort of yeah. thing. It, those four, especially around a campfire with some s'mores, sounds amazing. Love it. Are you up for a quick game? Yes, absolutely. A yes, yes or no game to work out the famous musical scouts. So there's lots of people. You know, we know that the astronauts that went to the moon, the majority of them were scouts. Lots of people. The queen, did you know the queen was a scout? Well, a I girl, didn't. right? No. She was her sister, Princess Margaret. Meghan was a scout as well. well over yeah. in America. So I've tailored this just for you, Sam. This is famous musical scouts. All right. Okay. All right. And no Google. No, no, not at all. I'm trying to, I do know, I know a few celebrities. I know actors and things, but I don't think I know any, anyone musical related. Oh, well, let, let's play the game of uh, famous musical people. All right. So Paul McCartney, it's this simple yes or no. Yeah. Was Sir Paul McCartney in Scouts? Yes, I think he was. Okay. That's right. He did his first gig apparently with, uh, with the boys. David wow. Bowie. I'm going to say no. No, he was a famous scout. He was. He wow. was. 
Mariah Carey. Oh, God. <laughs> Just throwing everything. everything. I have no idea now. I'm, I'm going to say no again. She was. What? Are they all scouts? Is that the twist? Michael Ball, famous West End singer. Love Michael Ball. He, yes. I'm going to say yes, he was in the scouts. No. <laughs> oh, man. This is embarrassing now. <laughs> Jarvis Cocker from Pulp. Um, I feel like he's too specific to not be a scout. So I'm going to say, yes, he was. He was a scout. You're right. George Michael. George Michael. Um, I, oh, I'd love it if he was. I, I'm going to say no. He was with Andrew as well. They did their first ever gig in the scout hall. That's amazing. That's crazy to think that, that the scouts have had that much, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's fine. All right, Fat Boy Slim, Norman Cook. Oh, God. I'm trying to think by the numbers how many there's been. I'm going to, I'm, I, I just, surely they can't almost all be scouts. I'm going to say, I'll say yes, he is. Yeah, you famous scout. Nice. Uh, the legend, Sir Cliff Richards. <laughs> These are random, by the way, Sam. Sir Cliff Richards, yes or no? Yes. Famous scout. Would you ever sing at Wimbledon? You know, if it was raining, would you ever get? Would you do oh, that? Oh, I'd, I'd certainly give it a go. I don't know if people would want that, but I, <laughs> I would sing at them if if necessary. Okay, uh, back to the eighties. Boy George, famous scout. Boy George, I'm going to say no. He was a famous scout. Oh my goodness, this is you've had some a lot of names come through. What about nineties legend? H from Steps, Ian Watkins. Was he in the Scouts? Of course he was. <laughs> that was a bit obvious, wasn't it? Was it? Um, <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't. Last but not least, let's get a bit of modern. Uh, my daughter uh, suggested Taylor Swift. Hmm. I'm going to say yes. I feel like I could definitely see her doing that. Well done. Okay. Well, I don't think it was. I don't think it's a well done. I think that was maybe half right or. or <laughs> but gave it my best. Yeah. Sam, you did you did well. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. Uh, last Good question. Mm -hmm. As a scout leader, we are fueled on tea. As I spill it over myself, <laughs> yeah. um, we ask this to everyone: How do you like your tea? Now, this is a test of coordinates. Oh wow! So this is a learning map reading. It's like battleships, but with okay. Um, I am gonna go with. I think my perfect would be. Uh, one D, I'd say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I agree. Just, um, little... Because I think, yeah, like a very slight. I, we normally in the flat, we normally don't have milk in, um, and so I'm quite happy with it being, you know, just as it is. But I think with a little bit is is my perfect amount. I'd say. Uh, Sam from Scouts the Musical, thank you very much for joining us here on Big Man and Woods. We'll put all the links below on how you can get those tickets um, to go and see Scouts the Musical, the comedy, and try and get involved. I don't think we're ever going to have this ever again uh, up in the West End. You know, we might, like I say, go to the local church, but back in the West End, all about Scouts and Musical. Sam and yeah. David, big thank you to both of you for, for putting this all together. Um, thank you. Thanks so much. Thanks for being so welcoming as well. It's I'm looking brilliant. forward to it. I'm going to be there. I won't be there every night. Don't worry. And I won't be there on the front with a, like a banner. Woo! <laughs> if you do, there. then you will be picked to go on stage. I hope you're aware. That's the oh, deal. So is that a little tip off? Maybe we should all come with banners. <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. That might be the one. <laughs> uh, Sam, thank you very much. It's been great to talk to you and all the best for the show. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks very much. Thanks.